Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Automation with Arnab. Hi, I am Arnab. Hope you guys are doing very well. So today I will discuss about how to read data from Excel. Okay, to read the data from Excel, the most popular way, uh, process way is that to use Apache PUI while we are using Java to read the data from Excel actually. So in this video, I'll explain that how I'll show you guys that how you can read the data. This is a very easy thing actually. Okay. To use Apache PUI, you have to add, uh, if you are using Maven project, you have to use these three dependencies that you can see that in my screen, these three dependencies you have to add. I'll give this dependency name uh, in the video description so that you guys can easily get the details. Okay. Then if I go to the code here, I have created two different methods. Okay. So why I have created two different methods? Let's start with the first one. Okay. So what is first one? First one is that there is while we are creating the Excel file, we have we if you can see that there are, there are two different of two different type of extension we can see. One is XLSX and another one is XLS. There is no X in the last. Okay. So while so there is a two different way actually to read the these two different type of extension files. Okay. So for xlsx for that one first in the line number 27 you can see that one first one what i am doing that i am creating a file input stream type of object which will take which is taking new file as an object as a parameter actually in the file i am giving the, the full path okay the absolute path of the excel the file excel file okay in the line number 27 then in the line number 30, what I am doing that first we have to create the object of a workbook with with help of this file input stream object. Okay. But if you see very carefully, the workbook type is XSSF. Okay. The XSSF workbook. This is the class name. Okay. And uh, we are creating the object of this class. And while we are creating the object of this class, uh, while we are calling the constructor, okay, while we are creating the, when we are creating an object, actually we are calling the constructor. So in this case, while we are calling the constructor, it is take, it will, it, it is taking the file input stream object as a parameter. Using this parameter, it is getting the workbook, the full file actually. Then in the line number 31, you can see that XSSF sheet, this is the class name and using this workbook workbook dot get sheet at there is a method dot get sheet at and as a parameter you have to give the index okay means that if you open the file there is a multiple sheet you can see that sheet number one sheet number two multiple sheet you can use so it will start from the zeroth position this is the zeroth position okay so you have to give the index zeroth okay and while you are giving the index number it will return the sheet a whole sheet and it will save here it, it will refer to that particular sheet okay and while when we are getting a sheet then it's very easy sorry yeah. it's very easy that while we are when after getting the sheet details we are getting the row sheet dot get row okay and using ex same again the row number which row it will again it will start from the zeroth zero row number and it will return the row type of object so that's why here row i have created then exactly from the row we will get the cell okay so while what it zero this is the zeroth row and this is the zeroth cell okay the user id highlighted one so it will return for xls xls x so zeroth row then cell is number one means that zeroth row cell number one it will return the user id okay if you if we and then we are printing this one cell so it will print the cell details so and this row and cell this is very easy this is a type of uh, this is a class actually okay row and cell let's run this one so password yeah. 
okay cell we are getting one okay so this is the zero through cell is one this is the zeroth cell this is the one number first cell okay index number one password that's why it's written the password okay and who is little bit advanced in the advanced level or they can do okay to avoid these two lines of code sorry these two lines of code line number 33 and 32 you can directly sheet dot get row you can give the row number and dot get cell column cell number you can see here it is showing already cell number okay if we run this one so number first row sorry uh, row number one means the second row and second cell second row second cell so it will return this one one two three four five let's run this one you can see that one two three four five it's returning okay so this is the way to read the data that from the data from excel the file extension is xlsx and for file extension with xls okay if you can see very closely carefully in the code only change is that instead of using xss workbook we will use hss workbook and the for the same for the sheet instead of using xss ship sheet here we will use hssf sheet okay other things are exactly same the row cell concept and everything other things are exactly same okay so for this one if we consider the zeroth row zeroth cell if i open this one this is the xls you can see in the top zeroth row zeroth cell user id this cell value is the user id and one and zero second row first cell second row first cell a003 let's run this one read xls okay so user id and a003 so these are the thing so i think you guys have an idea this is very easy you can see that just a three four lines of code is required only okay to read the data so this is the easiest process so you guys, so you guys can use this test test data for like you can write a utility function to read the excel actually okay and using that utility uh, function uh, utility method you can read the data from excel and you can use that data for your automation okay if you have any doubt or any question please do comment on this video and if you like this video please share with others and please do subscribe my channel if you haven't subs subscribed yet okay thank you